welcome to the Wilderness Off-Road channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about a jumper pack. If you guys watched my last video, if you haven't, go check it out. Um, but if you did, I briefly mentioned how beneficial jumper packs can be, how much time it could save you and potentially money. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Foxpeed A10 jumper pack. Uh, this is also a battery bank. It's got USBs on it. It's got a couple other features which we'll talk about in the unboxing here in a minute. And I'll show you also how easy it is to use on a completely dead battery. So before we get started, I do wanna tell you that there is a link in the description. I don't make any commission off it, so feel free to check it out. Um, and also I do wanna say, look at the size of this thing. This thing is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be when I ordered it. <laughs> And uh, there's pretty much no reason uh, that this won't fit in my vehicle and that I shouldn't have it in there. So it will now forever be in the vehicle. And uh, I am impressed. I already know how this thing works as well. So stay tuned and let's jump right into the unboxing. All right, everybody. So getting into the unboxing here, this is the Foxpeed uh, A10 CF jump starter slash portable power bank. Um, it's got some pretty simple packaging here. It tells you some easy step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to jump your vehicle here. Um, tells you kind of what it's made for. It's even got boats on there twice. So you should be good on your boat. That's for sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, so let's just get right into it. Right off the bat, you have the battery itself. We'll just set that aside and get everything else done here. You've got your cables. This plugs right into the battery itself. And then obviously your positive and negative clamps. Um, the rest of the box here just has a USB-C to a charging cable and some simple instructions and just some 24 seven help if you need that. All right, so jumping right into the battery here. This battery is a 12,800 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it's got two USB-A ports for charging your devices. The USB-C input is for charging this battery. And then right under here is the port for the jumping mechanism. All right, so this battery is rated for seven liter gas engines and 5.5 liter diesel engines. Um, it's got a 1000 amp uh, peak current rate for jumping. It uh, has a on and off switch on the side here. Once you switch that on, it will tell you the current um, charge rate, I guess, or charge capacity of the power bank. So this is very low. And it's got a button here, and this controls the rear um, flashlight. And so you would hold this for two seconds and that turns on. And then every time you press it, it switches the modes of the flashlight. And those modes are a steady mode, which they call torch light. Uh, there's an SOS mode and then also just a strobe mode in general. Uh, this battery bank also has quite the safety features. It's got reverse polarity protection, short circuit protection, reverse charging protection, low voltage and overheating protection. So you should be pretty safe using this power bank for jumping or whatever you're doing with it. Um, and, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, just looking at the size of this, it is, um, I mean, very compact and should be able to fit in any area or wherever you're packing this. Uh, should be able to fit in those locations just fine. 
Uh, so, anyways, this is the cable, and on the back of this, it tells you all the light indications which show up on the back of this once this is plugged into the battery. Um, it'll light up blue. Uh, once you're connected to the dead battery, it'll be blue and green. And that tells you you're ready to go. And you have 30 seconds once this is all hooked up to get back in your vehicle and start it. And then once you hear you know, the noise with blue and red, it's like a protection and safety and you'll have to unplug these cables from the battery and just kind of restart. It's a part of the safety mechanism, which actually works really well because uh, I tested this out already and had that happen to me. So um, I know what it's like and I had no problems. I just unhooked the clamps and restarted and I was able to get the battery going. So. You'll see that here in a minute. Um, we're going to use this battery to jump a completely dead uh, motorcycle battery. Uh, the battery actually just needs to be replaced, but I'll show you just how easy it is. And uh, yeah, so let's hop right into it and I'll show you how that works. All right, guys, just to show you that the battery on this bike is completely dead. I'm going to just flip the switch on, hold the clutch in, and it is dead. No cranking whatsoever. So let's get this battery starter hooked up and we will see how easily it starts this. All right, to use the jump starter, uh, you simply pull back this rear door match the um, male to female ends up. You can't get it wrong. You get your blue light telling you that there's power ready to be sent, or just about at least. Now I'm gonna try to balance the battery pack on the seat of the dirt bike, so you might see me trying to hold that and keep that from following, falling. And we're gonna connect the cables here, and you'll see a green light telling you you're ready to jump. All right, we got the green light. We're gonna turn the bike on and see if it starts. There you go. Right up, I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, so it started up really quickly and, and I'm pretty impressed. All right guys, so it's that easy to jump the vehicle. Um, and you know, obviously this is a dirt bike, has a lot smaller battery. Um, but you saw how fast that was. This battery is actually, the dirt bike battery, is actually um, pretty trashed. It's uh, very old. So just seeing how fast this jumper was able to send power and get this thing running, I'm pretty impressed. I actually do just need a new battery in general um, on the dirt bike, but you know, Bringing that over to the vehicle, using this on a vehicle, uh, it would be just as easy. I think I mentioned this before, but once you get that blue-green uh, light that tells you you're good to go, you have 30 seconds to get back into the vehicle and start it. This is also, like I mentioned before, just kind of the size of this battery. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. And this will actually very easily store in your glove box, or at least I hope it would, uh, because that would be the perfect place for this. I highly re recommend this. Um, so far, so good. This now will always be in my car, especially on trips. So there should be a link down in the description if you guys uh, wanna take a look at this. It's very affordable jumper pack. There's a lot out there, but I, think this is a perfect jumper pack for you. Anyways guys, uh, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for any upcoming videos so that you don't miss them and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget to check these out. Alright guys, thanks for watching.